Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. This is um, a perfume haul. I do have another perfume haul that I still have to film. I didn't want to do like 20 perfumes in one video because one that would be super long um, and two my nose would be broken by the end of that. So I have about 10 here I think. Before I start though I wanted to show you this thing that I picked up from Scentbird. I tried to order another one of these two and they sold out and then they're like do you want two of the same and I was like no I ordered one of each. The other one was so much cuter it had like little um, perfume bottles on the bottom. This one has like the little birds from Scentbird which is fine but this you can put your scent birds in so I'm excited to have a like kind of a way to organize them. It only holds like 12 though so I need like 10 more of these. Well not 10 more of these but I need some more of these. So I have Valentino, I have Armani, I have Coach, I have Juicy Couture, I have Tom Ford. I think that's it. We're gonna start with the Coach because uh, this is one that I was quite excited about. This is Coach Dreams Sunset. I didn't like Coach Dreams and I've talked about that before. I loved the bottle though but the smell just that orange blossom I was not a fan of. I'm not the biggest orange blossom fan. Like it, it's like a love or hate relationship with me. Some of the scents that have orange blossom I love and then other ones I'm just like, no, no way. I don't like it at all. And I'm not really sure why I like some and why I don't like other ones. But this one is like, I love the bottles on these. They're so cute. They have the little leather on them and the little flower that's the sprayer. This is just, a, this is a 1.3 which is kind of a, I feel like an odd size for um, a perfume. This is a beautiful, creamy, kind of warm and soothing scent. It's not like warm as in like spicy or anything. It just, I don't know. It just, it has kind of a warmth to it. And maybe, I don't know what any of the notes are on these. I'm gonna to try to have them on the screen. If not, they'll be down below. Or sometimes I forget to do that or I run out of time. So hopefully I'll have them <laughs> down. But I do really like this one. I think it is a really nice scent. It's definitely one that I'm going to be reaching for. I feel like it's going to be a good kind of every season but summer. I don't see this as being a good summer season. And it does have like the little collar right here so that um, it doesn't get pressed down if you are traveling with it. So make sure you keep that. I also love the box. Like look at those stars and stuff on the side. Such a good job. I think I got these free gifts with that one. If not, we're just gonna talk about it really fast. So I have these two coach gifts. This first one, like cute little pouch. It does have a, what is this? Is this Coach Dreams? It is Coach Dreams. I might keep this just so that I have it for reference and stuff, um, or I might pass it along, but there's that one. And then I got this one that was Coach Men's, or Coach for Men. It has like the perfume, not the perfume, but whatever. You know what I mean. And then you have the lotion and I'm going to, Actually, no, it's an aftershave bomb. Oh, that's it. Fancy. I'm going to keep the package. I'm going to pass along the stuff inside, but I'm keeping the package. All right, let's do our money. I have um, Voce, Viz, Voce Viva Intensa, which I liked the original one, but it wasn't one that I felt like I needed to have a full-size bottle of. I do have a travel spray of it, the one with the cool red rubbery stuff so that I can actually reuse that rubbery part and put it on another uh Travel spray. I love the bottles. I love the spikes. I don't know. I just think it's such a cool and then there's like the indent on the side. Although it does kind of hurt to pull the cap off and it does have a spike here on the front too, which is something I didn't notice before. Let's see. Let's give it a spray. Oh no. I totally messed up the um, serial number in it. This is so pretty. It is very fruity floral. Like the floral in here, I think it's tuberose, just really has like almost a grape type scent to it, which I get in a few different fragrances. I really like this one. I think it's really nice. I don't feel like it's a good step up and different enough from the original. Like I just felt like the original was a little bit more generic that I'm really glad that I have this one. Speaking of original though, I did get a travel size or travel spray of it. This was um, a free gift with purchase, which was awesome because I was like, sure, I'll take it. And this is the one that is 
actually like spiked the entire bottle and it's so cute it's so little and cute um oh wow i lost the entire serial number on that um i should have taken a picture that's crazy um yeah this one is very pleasant i feel like this is a good everyday scent it's bright and fresh and just it smells really nice so i do like this one too but it's not one that i felt like i need to purchase a full size yeah there's just like mm, more oomph to the uh intensa all right we have my way this is the intense oh my gosh of course like this is the uh video for flankers so um I thought when I first smelled the Intense that it smelled almost like a cherry type of a note, like a strong cherry berry type of a scent. I'm not getting that as much from the actual perfume. I feel like, I think I like the original one more. I have been wearing it quite a bit over the past year. I think the bottle on this is absolutely beautiful. I love the color scheme on it. But yeah, this is a beautiful, like, it's starting to smell a little generic. Um, to tell you the truth, like, I think this would be a safe blind buy. I feel like Voce Viva would be a safe blind buy. The Intensa has just a little bit more. This is just a little bit different than the original, but I feel like I like the original one more. We got two more from Armani. We have the De Joyas. So we have Ocean De Joya, and you saw this in my haul for black friday this was part of my haul i love the bottles on these first let me let me just show you like Armani does a really nice job on the bottles <sighs> this one it's very light it has a slight fruitiness to it slightly aquatic i picked up another bottle of this so that i could use it as a pillow spray because i really liked aqua de joya this one I feel like might be a little, now that I'm smelling it, I'm gonna like, maybe this is gonna be a little too stimulating. No, it's kind of mellowing out. It, there's a fruit in there, like a fruit, a specific fruit note that's just kind of like on the tip of, like, it's in there, it's tickling, it's, it's reminding me of something, but I can't think what it is. All right, next up is Terra Joya. Oh my gosh, I, smelled this and was like yes i i need this one i don't know why um this one spoke to me so much but we have terra de joya probably the least pretty of the bottles just because of the color i don't know i'm not, not a fan of like this brownie orange oh it smells so good it is just it's comforting like it's such a comforting kind of fruity but not like overly fruity or overly sweet. It's kind of mellow. It has like some creaminess to it. Mm. Yeah, this, I'm anticipating going to need another bottle of this eventually because I really, really like it. I feel like if you like Juicy Couture, like, but you feel like you've outgrown it, this might be a good one because it has, like it feels similar, but it feels um, more well-rounded. There's just something about like the creaminess that you find in um, Viva La Juicy that I feel like I'm getting a little bit in here too. Speaking of Juicy Couture, this is one that I knew came out and I was like, how am I gonna get it? Kohl's is no longer doing their own beauty thing, which is the only place that I ever knew that carried this line from Juicy Couture other than their website. And they never do, like websites don't do as good of sales, at least for fragrance, as everywhere else. And I liked Kohl's because I could use my Kohl's dollars on all of these. Uh, but I was at a Kohl's and they had one and I was ecstatic, just absolutely ecstatic. This is It's Sunny Honey by Viva La Juicy, I mean, by Juicy Couture. Oh my gosh, it's the yellow one. I have all the other ones in the line. I have Bye Bye Blues, I have Palm Trees Green, I have Ra Ra Rouge, I have something of the Purple, I have um, Oh So Orange. This one is so fruity. Um, pineapple. 
definitely get that nice sweet pineapple but it's not like a straight pineapple it has some other fruit it smells kind of like a fruit cocktail that's definitely based in pineapple uh yes 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 uh, I am so excited to wear it this summer I feel like it's going to be great if you like escada this is going to be a great one and I'm so happy that I found it and I was able to use like Kohl's dollars on it or earn Kohl's dollars something it made it more affordable anyway I think I used Kohl's dollars on it I feel like I did we're getting to the more expensive ones um, this next one is quite expensive I did use some Ulta points to redeem for it because it it is expensive um, and it's not something I would normally spend my money on but I was really interested and this one sounded like the best one and they're not like they're in any stores around me so I can't smell any of them which really sucks so this one seemed like the safest of the line and it's Tom Ford I have my second Tom Ford fragrance I'm very excited this is Mandarino the Amalfi Aqua it's it's an EDT, it's not the EDP. Uh, they don't sell this line, the EDPs, at Ulta. They just have um, the EDTs. They are kind of the clear bottles. They're very, they're so pretty. It's like a frosted glass. It has a slight texture to it. It bugs me that it is not straight, though. Does that bother anybody else? Like, this is an expensive perfume, and it's just a one ounce. Like, it's not like I... Um, but it was still over a hundred dollars for this. Hence why I used, uh, my 20% off and got, used my points as well. This one is nice. Um, I feel like there's a definite Mandarin note to it. It's definitely orangey. It's not as sweet as like the Atelier Orange Sanguine or... Clementine, California. It's not quite as sweet as that, but it's in that kind of realm. It's definitely could be a unisex fragrance. It has a bit of like a dry grassy feel, which I think is vetiver. It's kind of in the back though. Um, it, it's tampering or it's tamping down on the citrus. And it's definitely, this is definitely not sweet at all, but it is refreshing. This is definitely like a summer type scent I would feel weird wearing it right now in the winter it just doesn't feel like it would be but I feel like in the heat of summer this is gonna be a nice refreshing one this is going to be up there with for me with like my um, Pacific Lime from Atelier or my Mandarin Basilic this smells a l now I want to do a comp comparison like between this and Mandarin Basilic So maybe that's that maybe that's an upcoming video, but yeah, it's really nice. Is it worth the money? I have no idea. Uh, and if you have a cosmetic company store, you might be able able to actually go and smell it, which is really nice because um, I did get to smell some other Tom Ford's. I can't remember what I smelled now, but I did get to when I was visiting a cosmetic company store, which really helps. We're going to finish it up with a line that is talked about a lot here on YouTube and is not a line that I've had really an opportunity to try because once again, it's not sold in any stores around me blind. So blind buying is the way to go by the time you buy. I know some people buy samples and that keep it really expensive because you're either buying them like little teeny tiny samples and like they're four bucks a piece and for one mil or two mil and you're like that adds up especially because you're paying shipping on top of that and if you buy them find them cheaper like you're a little nervous if they're going to be like authentic there's always that um like that's in the back of my head too so i don't do a lot of fragrance sampling unless it's like a super expensive fragrance that i'm really interested in tom ford's basically so these ones I was kind of curious about, and these sounded like two that I would enjoy more than other ones in the line. And um, yeah, so I haven't tried much else from the line. I have one other one, which you saw in my cosmetic company haul. So if you watch that one, you know what I got. Um, I'm gonna talk about, these are Maison Lancome. So this is like the more expensive, come on, focus. 
uh, line, I'm sorry, from Lancome. I got figs and argums, ag agrums, agrums, I don't know. I know, I know. I should do my research, but I don't always think about it because I'm fighting day daylight. So I could either pronounce it right or you could have a dark video. Uh, so I, it's fig, it's a fig fragrance anyway. They all look, I think they have the similar background on them. I did get Jasmine Marzipan, uh, which was quite nice. And I wanted to get this one because I have liked some of the fig fragrances that I've gotten lately. They're kind of like this green fruity, like just really nice type of a scent. And the, it does have the fig on the top of it. I do like this one. I think it is nice. It is not quite as sweet as some of the other figs that I've tried, I feel. It's uh, kind of clean. I feel like this would be um, a good kind of spring scent, although I would wear it now even. But yeah, so I did get that one. I'm excited about that. I have enjoyed, like all of these I've sprayed on, they've been sitting in my desk drawer, and I've been spraying them on here, there, and everywhere, like in the middle of the day as a topper, just kind of experimenting. The other one I got is Pivonese Pretense. It's a peony uh, fragrance. There's the little peony. And the bottle. It's funny because I sprayed both of these for my mom and she was like, I definitely like the peony better. So this is um, supposed to be Chantilly de Rose, uh, peony bouquet and buys roses essence it's definitely a floral type scent so if you're not into like more traditional florals it doesn't feel old-fashioned or overwhelming though like sometimes florals can just be too much there's like a tartness to this that I feel is really nice so I do like this one too let me look at the this one is Fig Accord, Jasmine, Floral Absolute, and Sorbet. So that is it for my fragrance haul. I don't think there's a single fragrance here that I'm not excited to wear. I feel like they're all really solid choices and they're gonna be really nice. I wish I hadn't ruined my um, code for Valentino though. Anyway, let me know how you are all doing. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these if you have tried any of these fragrances and um, if you like them or not, or if there's some that you are interested in having a more in-depth review of, let me know that down below as well. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.